the best duck breast bite. Let's go for it. Good morning and welcome to another fun food video. Today we have ventured all the way out to District 5 in Saigon. Here in District 5, they have Chinatown. That means good Chinese food. Today is not just about any type of Chinese food, but the duck. Roasted duck is a dish in Asia that was originally reserved for royalty. It's known for its crispy skin and tender, juicy meat. So it quickly became a favorite among the masses. Now, 80% of the world's ducks are eaten in Asia. But we are not just going to one duck location, we're going to two. Two locations that make this one animal completely differently. Duck one is prepared on a massive scale, making it more affordable. But how's it going to taste? Duck two is part of a gourmet bird experience, coming in at twice the price. But does it offer twice the value? We'll find out soon. Two ducks going head to head. That's right, this is a duck off. Let's go. Our first stop, Da Qua. This is a large scale duck roastery. They've been open for more than 25 years. In that time, they've slowly changed and adapted the perfect roasting recipe, using modern technology to bring duck meat to the masses at an affordable price. This is the owner's daughter. Her name is Lin. Lin, put her there. What a pleasure. This is my buddy Hui. Yes. Meet Hui, a local Chinese Vietnamese food enthusiast who really knows his ducks. Uh -huh. Today, he'll be sharing his personal ducking insights. I'm very excited. We're here early in the morning and there's a ton of action. You guys are roasting hundreds of ducks. How did this all start? My parents actually got the idea from Hong Kong. We went to Hong Kong and they saw the oven kind of like that. And they came back here and they found a baguette oven. They just uh, buy it and then they made the rotisserie. I've seen people cook in a more old school method where they use a clay pot. That's what we use. Like when we first started, my they have two clay pots. Roasted ducks are traditionally prepared in clay pots. This method requires more skill and attention to maintain the right temperature. And each pot can only hold a few ducks. And you still need to rotate yeah, it yourself. Exactly. And it's much more like dangerous because it's hot and it doesn't scale as much. Here, they've taken an industrial baking oven and transformed it into a duck roasting monster that solves all those problems. This beast can cook up to 30 ducks per batch. And on certain holidays, this place can pump out 2,000 ducks in 24 hours. When you order a duck, how many you would order like one duck just for yourself, right? No, I would share it with my whole family. I couldn't finish one just by myself. Yeah. So maybe I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> I usually just get one from myself. Duck preparation here starts with 65-day-old fattened ducks specially bred for this dish. How important is the duck supplier? Very. We're super picky about the quality of ducks we get. We want it nice and big and plump. And if uh, sometimes I like, will send skinny ducks and then we will have to send those away. No skinny yeah. ducks. The ducks are washed and prepared for stuffing. Everything you're putting in the duck, is this where most of the flavor is coming from? Yeah, and as you cook, like that's why you put it inside. You cook, it gets into the meat and not just the skin. Every ducker has their own recipe, but here it's all about lotus seeds, peppercorns, a couple different types of mushrooms and green onions, soy-based sauce, two scoops, just like raisin bran. And all these flavors are gonna permeate and soak into the meat. You're gonna see once the ducks are done and finally roasted, the natural juices that come from the duck are gonna mix with everything here. And that's going to become an incredible sauce. To lock the flavors inside, they seal the duck's bottom cavity. We sew it with a bamboo stick and then some kind of dry grass. Sealed ducks are quickly poached in hot water. What does that do? What's the purpose? To make sure that it's perfectly cooked and brown and crispy. Then partially dipped into a sauce made from cashew oil and honey. When I see the uncooked ducks, they look like they're wearing little orange pants. The bottom doesn't get the color as you cook. If we don't do that, it's going to stay white. <laughs> From here, the ducks go through the most visually confusing step. So they've got an air compressor. He takes the hose and he sticks it down the neck and he allows the chest cavity and throat to kind of fill completely with air. Now the purpose here is to create some separation between the skin and the muscle so that when it roasts up, the skin will become extra crispy. I'm assuming this is a traditional recipe that goes way back, but what did they do before they had air compressors? Did they have some poor guy that just had to blow into the duck necks? I'm afraid to ask. Then the ducks are moved to custom-made roasting ovens. Here, they'll rotate for 45 minutes. So 
So the duck is fully roasted. It's ready to be chopped up. Let's go. She cuts it down the middle and then right here pours out this delicious juice from inside. That's gonna become a dip for later. All right, so then she takes the upper section. That gets chopped into several pieces. Now, this is the most critical part right here because that is going to be the most beautiful piece of meat on top, the breast meat with crispy skin on top. The smells in here, even through this freaking mask, are amazing. COVID can't get through, but I tell you, the scent of this duck can. Ooh, one duck, two plates. Let's see. But before we can take a bite, there is one more unique offering I have to show you. Usually, you're gonna eat this kind of duck with some kind of a steamed bun or bread like this. But what's cool about this place is they make a monster bun me bread. Look at this. It's like holding a guitar. This must weigh a couple pounds at least. Four and a half dollars, you can buy this whole thing. Woo, let's go. It is finally time to eat. Let's take a walk around the table. First of all, the freaking duck. There's a lot of meat on there. They put everything except for like the beak and the soul. That went to duck heaven. Over here, we have the juice from inside the duck. We have some fried bread. And then we have this giant beast of a bun me bread right here. I want to just touch it for the audience. It's still kind of crispy, I mean. Crispy on the outside, yeah. but like airy on the inside. Yeah, yeah. We can just do an episode about this. It's fascinating. <laughs> This is the sauce that came from inside the duck. Before we even get to the meat, we should try dipping some bread into this. They said just rip off a piece, so. Tear it apart, yes. <laughs> Look at this bread, this is fantastic. This is like cotton candy. Right. Yeah. This is gonna be perfect to soak up all these juices. Cheers. Yes. Mmm. This sauce could end wars. That is so powerful. My God, it's just savory times a thousand. Sweet, super salty. It's a soy-based sauce, so you taste the soy flavor in yeah. there. Is this how the bread is usually used, just for soaking up yeah. the juice? Yeah. Do you dunk the meat into the juice? We do. Everything we goes in the juice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, that's so satisfying. Yeah. The combo of the juices from here, the fact that it's still hot, and then with the skin together with the breast meat, that is such a satisfying texture. There's just something about the nut meat, it just has more fat in it. It's just like a really pure, fatty, dark meat. Oh, lordy. Beneath all the breast meat, you get all the not as popular cuts. And some of the cuts, you're like, what is that? Is that a shoulder blade? Is that a wrist? Is that a femur? I don't know. So when it comes to the not so popular cuts, what do you like? You know what? I don't get to eat those not popular cuts because uh, I'm the favorite kid in the family. And I usually they save on a good cut for me. Really? Yes. <laughs> What's interesting is you look even at the head, it still has delicious meat on there. They cut the beak off, but you can still peel this delicious, slightly crunchy skin off of the head. And it's as delicious as any other part of the duck. Also, feet. But you never ate the feet either, huh? Yeah, I've never. Oh, then let's go for it. I like the web part. It starts out more thick on the duck, and then after cooking so much, it's become super crispy here. Because this meat is so delicious, I'm gonna save it for all my siblings. I'm still going for the breast and the thigh. <laughs> This meal costs about $15, but across town, there's a place charging twice the price for an even more elaborate duck experience. They call it Saigon Xiao Mai, a traditional Chinese restaurant known for its pecking duck. Chef, put her there. It's such a pleasure to be here. This is amazing. The quack master and head chef of this restaurant, Mr. Wang. From my understanding, this is going to be a wildly different duck experience than our last ducking experience. What do you call this duck recipe that you have here? Uh, Beijing roasted duck. I've heard that term a lot. Pecking duck. Some people say Peking duck because uh, they're not highly educated like me. Pecking duck is a traditional northern Chinese dish. At our last location, we paid about $15. Here, the whole duck experience is close to $30. Can you explain why this is more of a premium experience? Unlike our previous roasted duck, the pecking duck consists of a multi-course experience. The first place, we only have one course. This place, we have three courses. The most important part of this dish, the first course. The duck's extra crispy skin is carved and eaten straight away, followed by a few more mystery dishes. What does that word pecking mean? I think it just people pronouncing it wrong, from Beijing to Peking. Wait, really? Yeah, that's what I think. I feel like this is something we can look up on Wikipedia. Okay, right now I'm Googling, I'm mind Googling, Peking duck, what does Peking mean? Search results, enhance, enhance, enhance. Oh, that's what it means. Ah. Mm. Sir, thank you for the deep dive into the worlds of ducks. I'm excited, three courses coming up. Yes. I can't wait to go duck myself. Thank you so much. Same. And he's gonna duck you too. <laughs> 
cooking duck starts with a dry blend of seasoning. Đầu tiên mình có muối đường bột ngọt tiêu, muối ngũ vị hương. Then a vinegar, rice wine and bay leaf production. Sát nó cho nó thấm gia vị đều hết toàn bộ. Then a little bit of sealing. A little bit of air blowing. Moved up. Just watch the skin separate from that muscle. That image is going to stick in your long-term memory for a long time. Where was I? All right, a little bit of poaching and a whole lot of coating, covering the entire duck. Finally, it gets roasted in a giant steel pot. Roasting is complete. It's been about 40 minutes. It's ready to come out. And would you look at that? What a beauty. Can you give it a little twist? Like it's at the end of a runway on Fashion Week. Beautiful, golden, crispy skin in a bit of a different color than the last place we're at. Looks great and it smells great. My God, even the ducks look a little bit happy. If you gotta go, might as well get roasted. Boom, it is our final duck experience right now. Oh, there's not a person here. Sir, could you come over here? Ah, so he has our duck held hostage over here. And in just a moment, he's gonna cut all this skin off. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. First, he sliced along the chest, and then now he's going kind of piece by piece, taking these little slices of skin off of the duck. This is fantastic. From here, he's making a roll. And what does this roll consist of? It's a cucumber with onion, and of course, with a duck skin. Oh, that's awesome. So, all right, so he quickly puts these together. And our final roll here, very nice. That looks great. Voila. All right, let's focus on this for now. The server said that this is a rice paper. It's definitely not the normal kind of dry rice paper you would see yes. on a spring roll. I'm told it's actually a mung bean rice paper. All you need to know is the texture is very much like a very thin crepe. And so it's flexible, it absorbs the oils, and it keeps all of our ingredients nice and snug, including a cucumber. Okay, I'm ready to eat. There we go. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, the texture alone is mm. to die for. Man, that paper is incredible. It's just soft and kind of chewy. And then you mix that with the fat, the duck skin inside. It's a great combination. Even though I've had this many times, but until now, I still taste the crunchiness from the scallion, the freshness from the cucumber, the delicious duck skin, and the softness from the rice paper. Love it. That's it? Yeah. That's everything all in one? And this is kind of a perfect appetizer. It just gets you excited for what's to come. So I've escaped from the dining room for a second to see how the next step of this process is done. So right now he's separating the meat from the bones. The meat is gonna get stir fried soon and the bone, well, that's its own thing. We'll find out soon enough. Duck noodles. Start with freshly chopped duck meat. Deep fry it in sizzling hot oil. Then the nudes. Tossed around the wok with a bit of soy sauce. Add chives, the duck, and more sauce. Let all the ingredients get to know each other and serve. Boom! That is course number two. So they really just stripped away all the big, beautiful cuts of meat and they left all the bones for later. <laughs> so each course gets a little bit less succulent as you go forward. I want to try some of the meat first. So this should be a different experience. They mostly cook the duck and then they cut it up and they finish cooking it by stir frying it. So ideally, it shouldn't be too dry. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh my god. Super tender. Mmm, this is juicy. That is nice. I'm gonna scoop just a bunch of this on here now. These are big, fat, flat noodles. Let's go for it. Man, sometimes I'm kind of a hater when it comes to a rice noodle because in a super hot broth, they get oversaturated and plump and then they kind of fall apart. This has so much bite to it. Exactly. The opposite has happened. It's got more firm. That's what I love about this dish. It makes you keep wanting more and more. Yeah, there's not much else to say. I mean, mm -hmm. it would be hard to beat this. It has everything. Carbs, great texture. The meat is perfectly done. Chef has nailed it. This is an amazing recipe. Thumbs up for the chef. For our final dish, duck bones get deep fried in hot oil, then tossed with garlic, pepper, scallions, and homemade chili salt. All right, let's try it out. Oh, mm -hmm. that's really powerful. It makes you want to drink, literally. <laughs> There's little tiny pieces of meat here and there kind of coming off of it. Yes, this is the food for you to munch on. I think it's fair to say that it's become a little bit drier now because it has gone through a process of roasting and then deep frying and then stir fry it again. And then just the power of the seasoning really hits you. This really makes me crave like an ice cold beer, have a little bit of food, but then you want to wash all that seasoning down with an ice cold beer. Exactly. 
today we tried duck prepared two pretty different ways. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because like they value the skin so much in both types of preparation. Yes. But at the first one, the presentation is all about presenting the skin on the top. Here, the skin is just gone after the first round, but they make two more delicious dishes out of it. I might have to say I like the first one a little bit more. Okay. And this is great, but I do like just having all the meat laid out on one big delicious platter. Mm -hmm. It's all juicy and it's all at one time. Do you have one that you liked more than the other? If I had to choose, I pick this place just because I get to eat more. Another thing I like about this place is we have people wrap it for you. So you feel a little bit royal when you have someone serve it to your mouth, you know, right? <laughs> if you want to feel like a king, come here. Being an influencer doesn't require millions of fans. All you need is this t-shirt. Entertain and inspire at your own pace. Don't be an influencer. Be a micro-influencer. Get your shirt now. One, two, three. Wait. <laughs> He's like clapping because I'm clapping. I wonder if I do random things, will he do it? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice jazz fingers you got going on there. <laughs> How's it? Out of this world. So delicious. That bread soaks up all the juice. Oh. It makes me want to try it myself. It's too late. We got to get going. Uh, okay. Time. All right. Duck. Uh, that's not, I meant something different. Okay, no, sorry. Yeah, like, you know, like, uh, like, you know, duck you. Oh, duck you. You mother ducker. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, no, I do. All right, let's go duck ourselves. Guys, another fun food video down the tube or in the hatch or whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. We're both very full right now. Yes. Huge thank you to Hui right here. All right, now taking the handshake. You can go send him a friend request on Facebook. Down below. We put ours above. Actually. Okay, okay. No, not above right. them. Guys, please don't send them too many dick pics, but if they do, consider it like a compliment. I will treat it as a gift. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Oh, all right. I think we should try to find one more duck.